Eight years ago, Kawi didn't have almost any eye contact. She used to speak alone. She ate her soup with her hair inside. Kawi had autism. Since then, we've worked intensively. The first two years, we worked with her for 32 hours per week, one-on-one. -on -one. Today, Kawi is autonomous. So why is the story of Kawi, my stepdaughter, different than the story of so many other children with autism? We allowed ourselves to have hope, and we believed that she would become one day autonomous, and we worked for that little by little, step by step. We didn't settle with one therapy per week. We took the responsibility in our own hands, and we focused on building a meaningful relationship instead of trying to correct awkward behaviors. My wife and I founded Vencer Autismo to share our journey with the world. Today, we share more than 500 resources online with more than 200,000 followers. The children that do therapy in our installations reduce, in average, their autistic condition by 10% every 12 months. We provide free conferences to 10,000 people per year all around Portugal. And the feedback we receive confirms that the information we are conveying is helping caretakers to help their children. The majority of parents are desperate. The teachers are on the verge of burnout. And the pediatricians are often delaying so important early diagnosis. Society does not understand autism. Society judges people with autism as disabled, as inferior, or as hopeless. The core problem of autism is not the autism of the children, it's the negative stigma of the word. Parents, teachers, pediatricians, and doctors, they clearly lack appropriate training to deal with this issue. So how can we solve this? If we know how to help 35 children, and if we had the funds, we could help 200 and even 500. The problem is that we have 15,000 of them today in Portugal. So we created Autism Rocks. It's a model that we're going to develop in the metropolitan area of Oporto, bringing free conferences for everybody, workshops for everybody that's in touch with children with autism, and a three-year mentorship every month with all these people. So we can help them on their path, and we can collect the largest living study on autism in Portugal. We will involve the community. We expect to see information exchange, benchmarking, and synergy creation. We expect to see vanguard solutions that we can't even imagine yet. We expect to see the quality of life increase of parents and teachers, and of course, of their children. By reducing the negative stigma and empowering the child's environment, all, everybody, will understand autism and will be able to help with autism-related challenges. Because when a flower doesn't grow to its fullest potential, you don't try to fix the flower. You place fresh soil, you water it, you place it under the sun, and the flower flourishes. Thank you, Kawi.